Hello guys, welcome to Iran. We are right now in Persepolis, which is one of the historical places in Iran. And we are right now around 50-60 kilometers away from the city called Shiraz. And look at this huge site, which we have paid around 3 American dollars to enter. And this is the real Persian history, which we are looking at the moment. I think the most impressive thing in, in this site is actually what I'm seeing at the moment. And it's very similar actually what I have seen in Jordan, in Petra. Uh, maybe I don't have the rights to compare it, but it reminds me of Petra so much. And you're gonna see it in a few seconds. Check this beautiful site out. As you can see, we have a beautiful mountain carvings and we're gonna go a little bit more closer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hello. Salam. <laughs> Salam. Hello. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. Come, come. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, no problem. Teşekkür. Kudafis. <laughs> bye bye. Ah, you have a Spider Man. Spider Man, huh? Nice. <laughs> bye bye. Kudafis. Thank you. No problem. So, as you can see, we are meeting super friendly locals here and taking the stairs to check out this beauty here and also Are you yes i'm also talking about this beauty but we also have a beauty just rear i've also my friend here from uh, katalistan <laughs> uh what's your name my name is carme carme i call her karma and she's from Barcelona or close to Barcelona? Actually, I'm from Lidia. Lidia, it's yeah. close to Barcelona? Yeah. Okay, so she's from the Catalonia part of Spain. Uh, and you call yourself Spanish or Catalonia? <laughs> I call myself human being. Human being, okay, that's a good answer. <laughs> okay, how, how impressive are you with the structure here? My honest answer? Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice that's it okay not so descriptive i as i want to be to be let's make it more descriptive guys check this out so we can get even much closer to it even though there's a glass here it says protected zone no entrance but we can see the column close by and also you can find some beautiful structures there looks like uh, horses to me or they have a horn i don't know maybe it's a different type of animal and then we also have some structures here. These are the soldiers, I do believe. And then there's also a little door right here, which is not allowed to enter. But I don't think there's much is going on as it was in Petra. So it's kind of like a small hall. It was same actually in treasury and also in the monastery. So there's a door, but when you want to go closer, you can see that it's just an empty room. And then upside of the car rings, it's more and more impressive. You can see lots of soldiers right here. Seems like they're carrying what they have on the top. And they have the one single person there, probably the leader. And then there's another structure right on the top. And also in the middle part of the carvings, you can find lots of lions facing this way. And then from the other side, they're facing that direction. So they're meeting each other just right in the middle. It's beautiful. So these structures are around 2,500 years old. So it's a very important part of the Persian history. And it's just beautiful. I mean, I've been to Petra and uh, when you compare two places, Petra, I think it's much more uh, well preserved and you can see the more details and actually Petra is actually a whole city. But here, these are the basically the remainings we have. So it doesn't cover whole space and in two hours you can see everything around here for only three American dollars. But uh, in Petra, you need actually around three days to explore. There are lots of uh, tracks you can do and lots of uh, structures to see. So it's lots of hike and lots of energy you need as well. And these gentlemen are taking some beautiful pictures. 
amazing. So first, another thing you need to understand is that this is used to be mountain. So as you can see, the structures right there goes all the way down and also from this side. So you have to dig in all the way until to that wall to make it straight. And afterwards they start digging and making the shapes. So which means until that point, as you can see from this side as well, until that point to the wall, they need to dig in so they can start making the beautiful structures which is just in front of us right now. Beautiful. You are taking some pictures? Yeah. Three sixty. Amazing. So guys we're gonna take some beautiful pictures here since there's not many people and afterwards we're gonna see you downstairs during the sunset time. Bye bye for now. We are actually the last few people leaving this place and we are escorted by the police behind us. We are already in the down part. A few minutes ago we were somewhere right there to see the mountain carvings. And then now we are down to see this beautiful monuments. How do you call this? Ruins, columns, it's amazing. And we also have a beautiful sunset in the distance. There's also kind of like an auditorium to sit down. Probably they do some type of like uh, events, maybe in the holidays or something like that. I have no idea. And then also this part of the area is kind of covered probably for a reason we haven't been there yet which we're gonna go check it out i have to say i don't have so much knowledge about the place i haven't done a proper research also i didn't hire any guide because normally i don't like the guides this time i just wanted to come and see it with my own eyes and explore around without knowing not too much about the place not sure if it was a smart idea, but yeah, if you know much more than me guys, let comments in the in the under the this video so we can all learn from you. And this the covered part is covering this structure here. Let's take a closer look to his beautiful carvings. As you can see there's a big lion, lion jumping on the animal and then here are four soldiers in one side four soldiers on another side there's not really something on the middle not sure if it meant to be and then you can find a similar structure to the right side of the stairs it's actually stairs which you can take and go upstairs to check out what we have on the other side it's beautiful and very surprisingly the, this place only costs uh, three American dollars and it's for foreigners probably for the locals it's much much cheaper but uh, salam 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 so what's uh, interesting is that all other places like mosques and the parks cost the same three American dollars for for everyone but this place is such a historical place and it's kind of a shame to know that they charge the same price as the park in the city center of Shiraz or somewhere else. So we have a big structures here, beautiful columns, nothing too impressive, but the way they put it back, it looks super fresh actually. And these are the bases of the columns. There are different animal structures here as well. It looks beautiful. And then the sun is setting in a distance, which is amazing. You can also see the beautiful mountains in a distance. So this way takes us all the way back. I think I'm gonna proceed other direction because I see something more impressive on the other side. I'm not sure if we can take a closer look to that. There are like uh, two different animals 
directly to opposite sides, but they are together actually. I'm not sure if it's clear from here. Here we go. This is the animal, two animal heads, which is connected together right here. So, which direction you would like to go? Did you find the man with the wings? No, he's not here. I haven't seen it. So we are looking uh, for a structure, which is, it's a man? It's not a structure. I think it's like a carved drawing. Ah, it's carved. Drawing. Ah, there was something uh, downstairs, but it's a smaller version. Oh, your favorite. All the stairs you take guys here. This is like, you cannot just miss this. There's like small soldiers here. You can see bigger ones upstairs. It's just beautiful. I'm not sure if I am able to touch. No one is watching, so we can touch it because I like to touch things. It's amazing. Once you touch this historical places, you can feel like you are being there. You're gonna ask, yeah. where is the structure? Yeah. Do you have it's a picture fine. of it? Where is it? I think this is the best time actually to explore the area because during the day, Shiraz in general, this part of Iran, during this month is very very hot so this is the best salam Hi. do you have it no i cannot find it you've been scammed <laughs> where is it it's okay let's go slowly ah. you have it i think ah. it's in the entrance ah, it's in the entrance Sorry, excuse me. This? Where can we find this? This uh, column? Darbaza. Darbaza. Yeah, it's there. There. No, no, no. It's the other one? No. Oh. There? Here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't know, thank okay. you. They're closing Mercy. slowly. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Beautiful, Tashakur, thank you. Bye bye. Amazing. So, gonna finalize the video here slowly. I hope you enjoyed it. It was beautiful to be here, especially during this time of the day. It's much cooler and you have also better lightning for the pictures and for the video as well. Thank you so much for guys for coming and I will see you in the next video. I'm actually moving to Tehran tomorrow. So there are going to be more videos from the northern part of Iran. Thanks guys and I'm going to sign out with a beautiful view to the mountains and the sunset. See you in the next one.